What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this. So, Wendy Williams, man, take to her show. She want to give her input on the Michael Jackson Leaving Neverland documentary series that just ended on HBO. I want to just talk about some of the things she said, man. This stuff crazy, man. Before I say something, I just want y'all to hear this, though. I got some things to say to this woman, but let, 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 let's listen to this. Watch this, y'all. Let's listen to this. See what she got. You started. Uh -huh. So Wade says that seven years old, Michael Jackson was performing oral sex on him, and they were taking showers together in Lies. the nude. Lies. Um, you think it's all it's all false, Wendy? Uh okay. So she's saying the two victims who said that Michael Jackson was having oral sex with them and taking showers with them. When, Wendy's talking about lies. Lies. How could you come up, how could you say that as though you were there? You was in the bedroom with them. It's lies. Yeah, I'm about to tell her a new one. You can't say that. And that's shameful for you to even say some things like that out of your mouth. Now, you could doubt and say, it seems suspect, but for you to just deliberate say it's a lie to the little boys who we who we know that's on record of actually being with Michael Jackson, you can't say that them boys lying. They was actually with him, factual, on numerous other occasions as children. Facts. You can't say and make that determination that those are straight up factual lies just because you don't want to believe it. No matter the speculation, you can't say that. In fact, it's more true than false. It's more true than false of anything because they were actually there. They actually slept in the bed with him. They actually slept in the bed with that man. So if they slept in the bed with this man on numerous of occasions in this man mansion, locked away, locked away with this guy one on one privately, the evidence show is more likely to happen than not to happen. Michael Jackson ain't had no girlfriend. Michael Jackson ain't had no woman walking around that house who he was having sex with, but he wanted the company of little boys. He on record saying this. That we got video footage of this going on. And I'm going to play another video a little later in this. But she said it's lies. It never happened. Okay, then explain, explain this right here, Wendy. Explain this one right here. What are you going to do with this one right here? Let's listen at this one a little bit. Sleep on the bed, sleep on the bed. Like, no, no, no. You know, you sleep on the bed. You sleep on the bed. And then he finally said, Gay, if you love me, you sleep on the bed. I was like, oh, man. And so I finally slept on the bed. But it was Wait. Do you see that? It's another little boy. What did Michael Jackson say to him? Come sleep in the bed. The little boy like, no, I don't want to sleep in the bed. What did Mike say to encourage this little boy, to get in the bed. He said, if you love me, you will sleep in the bed. If you love me. Now you have to understand, prior to that situation happen, what was being discussed? What was being discussed? Why did young boy have to show his loyalty and devotion to Michael Jackson by uh, 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 laying in the bed with him? And if he didn't lay in the bed with him, that meant he didn't love him. That's a form of control, mental control and abuse. What part of this? You saw this. You, Wendy Williams definitely saw this interview. Just like I saw it, she saw it. This is her job to see it. This was she get paid millions of dollars to see and look into. So how come you ignoring this and sweeping this under the rug? How much evidence that was going on before our eyes that we turned the blind eye to and refused to hear and speak out about? There it is. 
And he's saying this in front of Michael Jackson, who not even denying it. But what happened when this question was asked? Let's go up a little bit. Let's go to this. Check this out. Please explain this, Wendy Williams. Let's see what happened on this part right here. And they say, is that really appropriate for... And they say... Well, very few. But, you know, some have. And they say, is that really appropriate for a man, a grown man, to be doing that? How do you respond to that? I feel sorry for them because that's judging someone who wants to really help people. Why can't you share your bed? The most loving thing to do is to share your bed with someone. You, know? you, really, you really think that? Yeah, of so, course. And taking the position that you use yeah. every single night that you go into, you sleep, and you shine with another. You said you can have my bed. You hear that? Do you hear that? That's the beautiful thing in the world, to share your bed with someone. Yeah, your wife. Yeah, your wife. You 40-something years old, and you want to share your bed in your mansion with children. And she talking about it's lies, lies, lies. He never did. You can't say that. Shame. Shame on you for saying that, girl. What the hell wrong with you? Was you the one being victimized? Was you the one being raped? Was you the one being manipulated? Was you the one being robbed out of your childhood? How dare you say something like that when this man is on record admitting it out of his own mouth? That's horrible. Weak as hell. But that's what happens when you put in that position, situation, making money, you all comfortable, and you trying to be a voice for people. When you can say that against victims out here who have been raped by this dude who's doing this stuff deliberately, purposely, knowing how old these children is. Manipulating their minds. All part of his twisted, sadistic, sexual situation that he robbed them out of, manipulated them out of. At the, he got y'all food. He wants y'all to believe he young. He old as hell. He ain't stupid like that. He perverted. Anytime you leave in a 7, 10, 11 year old in the company of a 40 something year old man, mentally wise, they don't stand a chance. He will make what's, what's unnatural seem like it's beautiful. And this is exactly what he was doing to these young boys. Ain't nothing wrong with sharing your bed. You in a mansion with 30 rooms. Why do you have to sleep with the boys? Why do you have to sleep with the boys? Why is this a requirement? Ain't no such thing as that much fun in the world. Okay, it's nighttime. We have fun. Good night. Holler at y'all tomorrow, man. We're going to kick it up. We're going to uh, kick it up another night tomorrow and pay, take up from here. But no, that's not enough. It's not enough. See, this is what he does. And what he was doing. He was using his money. His things. And everything he was doing. This is the manipulation. And this is the payback. He giving them all. All this candy. Giving them all type of. Animal petting zoo. Uh, tours. They all on his. Merry go rounds and carnival. He got. Then you got to pay him back at the end of the night. They feel they obligated to give him some. They children. I did all this for you. Now, I want to do something else for you. He's sucking them off. They ain't used to that stuff. Boy, 12 years old. And he go, Mike, deep throat Nick boy. Yeah, I said it. Deep throat Nick boy. He ain't used to no stuff like that. He don't feel like he being abused to a person that's making him feel good. That's exactly what it was. Y'all look at different forms of abuse. You think because he ain't beating them, stabbing them, got a gun on them, stripping them of his clothes, 
That's not really abuse. He's seducing them mentally and physically, making them feel as though it's loving, it's warm, it's, this is love. Hell wrong with you, girl. Get you, you dumb as hell. You just as wicked, evil, and twisted and sadistic as this dude right here saying that stupid stuff out your damn mouth. Let's get back to some more of her little stupid comments. This lady fake as hell. I got another thing I'm going to do on you, girl. Make no mistake about it. Let's listen to her. And watch her logics. Her logics, dumb as hell. Dumb as hell. Come on, man. Let's go off into this. Let's, let's listen to some more of this. I, I do believe a shower in the nude. I don't believe that there was any sexual touching. I do. Yeah. She do believe the shower in the nude. She believe the shower in the nude, but she don't believe there was any touching. Why the hell would he take showers with them in the nude only to not touch? What he what what's right there before him that he's desiring. You sound dumb as hell. I believe they showered in the nude, but I don't believe they, they touch. Okay, so why wouldn't you believe they touch? You name me one bed that you sleep in with somebody that y'all don't touch each other. Please name one bed. One bed that they lay in without touching each other. Get the hell out of here. You don't even sound, see, you see how stupid she is? You see how she thinks she's smart, but really sounds stupid? Let's go into more of her stupidity. Look how dumb and stupid she sounds. Even a dude who's sitting around here knows she's saying a bunch of BS, but because he on her show, he's scared to challenge her on her, on her theory of what she's saying. That it really shows she morally corrupted her damn self. Watch this. Yeah. believe sleepovers in the same bed i do believe that if mother nature takes its course and they you know you get a hard penis i don't believe touching and i don't believe sex and i do so she believed he, mother nature could take its course and you could get a hard penis but when you get this hard penis there's no touching or there's no sexuality then what's the purpose of a damn hard penis for please explain that girl shut the hell up Oh, this girl, don't, this the people who they following and listening to? I'm glad, see, I be glad stuff like this come out to some degree. Because it don't only expose these freaks and jerks from the Michael Jackson and R. Kelly. It exposes a whole lot of damn people when you hear their view and take on things. She believed Mother Nature could take a course where you could get a hard penis but there won't be no touching. Uh, what, what? Don't stop it. He got everything working in his favor. They had his house and mansion, his security everywhere. Nobody could enter doors without his permission and everybody in his bedroom. What the hell's going to stop it from happening? Get up out of here, man. Hey, girl. Her, horrible as hell. And listen to some more of her stupidity. It get worse. You thought this, you thought this, would, it get worse than this. I do believe that this is a money grab for the families. I do Ooh, believe. Okay, come on, come on. I believe. I believe. I believe. They clapping for that. They believe it's a money grab for the families. They don't believe, and they clapping for this. Look up people clapping for this. They believe it's a money grab for the family. They clapping for it. Even though this man got all these kids in his house. You know what? See, 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 they're part of the manipulation and trick game that he do. See, he make it appear like he ain't doing nothing because it's a lot of kids in the house. Oh, we got like 15, 20 of them. So you figure like, well, he ain't doing nothing. It's like 20 kids over there, right? But the purpose of all the kids is that he could be selective by the ones he choose by seeing how they have. See, he, he's a pedophile. By him being a known predator pedophile, you see all these variety of kids. So you look and, and you watching their actions. And you're seeing the ones who you believe you can get away with this with. The ones who really trying to go the extra mile for your attention. The ones who really seem as though they timid to the point where you can manipulate them. And those are the ones that being selective and chosen. 
And then you begin to work on them mental, mentally wise. You get to talking to them, asking them little simple questions here. And then you really get to getting into their head to see how naive they really is. And you're like, yeah, I got them. Because even though he pretending to be as them, he pretending to be young like them. He pretending to be lost without a childhood. So in his mind, oh, I feel like a child again over them. But in reality, he praying on them. He praying on them. That's another blog. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. And they clapping. Because they want people to believe every time something come out against these stars who you, you love and worship and been crazy about that is always somebody trying to take their money. Oh, Bill Cosby, oh, they wanted his money. Even though you got 30 people speaking out against him. Oh, R. Kelly, no, no, they just want his money. Even though you got 20 people out of God. Michael Jackson, oh, no, no, they just want his money. Even though you got all these accusers coming out on him. See how they do? They want popularity to overshadow people who ain't known to the world in public like they is. Just piss on the victims. It's horrible. It's shameful. And it's sad. They just ruling it out completely. They just ruling, just saying automatically no. Yeah. And I've been around long enough. I believe that Joe Jackson, rest in peace, he did the best that he could in raising this showbiz family. Michael became the star of the family. And even though he had all those siblings, he was still trapped in being Michael, in Michael world. Yeah. You know, sequestered off into his part of the house and doing his thing, watching old movies. I believe that part. Um, uh, Mrs. Jackson, you know, she's not well. She doesn't need to hear this. And See, right there. Miss Jackson. She's old. She don't need to hear this. Yeah, she definitely need to hear this. And I guarantee you, Miss Jackson know damn well that her son actually is guilty of this, just like the brothers and sisters do, just like anybody else do. What do you mean, Miss Jackson don't need to hear this? You know what? She she have a choice not to hear this or not. First of all, it's social media, so she don't have to hear it if she don't want to hear it. But she should want to hear what her son did. And she should be humble enough to reach out to the victims of the boy that was hurt behind this stuff and give her condolences on behalf of her family for the young boy who, who, who was hurt in their life, affected by this situation, wrestling with their manhood that, that, that this dude did to them that probably made them become homosexuals and bisexuals due to him molesting them when they were 7 and 10 years old. Hurting that destroyed their whole life for his own sexual gratitude and pleasure. And you trying to have more sympathy for the Jackson family than the victims that was actually hurt by this situation. Robbed of their manhood by a 50 year old man raping and molesting them. Giving them cotton candy, monkey rubs and uh, uh, merry go round rides. Teaching them and training them how to uh, uh, protect him if ever trouble came. Just like you doing. She probably rubbed one of them damn monkeys herself. You can pass as a boy. You showing up ugly enough. You can pass as a damn boy. You probably one of them boys. Horrible, man. Miss Jackson don't need to hear this. Her son did it. She need to hear what the hell her kids did. And, you know, uh, what are Michael Jackson's kids? They don't want to hear this. Michael problem. Jackson's yeah. kids, they're not yeah. so well. Michael Jackson kids don't want to hear this. Them white kids, right? This man and turned himself into a damn ghost. Look at his face up there. This dude and... This dude wanted to be so white so bad, he made himself whiter than white people. This man made himself whiter than white people. He wanted to be white so bad. And here they are coming. Oh, his kids don't need to hear this. Yes, his kids do need to hear what the hell they sadistic, twisted father did to other kids just like them. Why should they be protected and safe and don't need to hear something, but everybody else can go through it? Get the hell out of here, man. See, see, they try so hard to try to make it seem like they're spitting something real. They saying something true and heartfelt. Like, why should they do this? The Jacksons don't need to hear this. His kids don't need to hear this. Yeah, they need to hear what the hell their father did. 
And they need to do something and stand up against it and help the people that's going through this stuff right damn now. With people just like Michael Jackson doing this all over the world. They definitely need to hear it. Rather than trying to sweep it under the rug. I'm not so well either. At either. all. Um, but I don't believe any of this. I do believe that this is money for yeah. the families. And I do believe that Michael was having a problem with drugs. Well, who... See that? She, watch this, though. She don't believe none of this. But watch this. She do believe Michael was having a problem with drugs. She don't believe none of this. But I do believe Michael was having a problem with drugs. Thank you for saying that. Now I'm going to really make you eat everything you're saying out of your mouth. Let's listen to how she break down the different stages of drugs that she believed Michael was taking and going through. But it had no effect on his lifestyle or what he was doing to these children. Let's listen to this. Who wouldn't? When you're doing your own dancing, think about it. If you're dancing from the time you're three years old, you know what I mean? And dancing hard. Yes. And then, Al, your back hurts. And then you get the dose up. By the time you're 15 years old, the doses are three times as much. By the time you're 25 years old, the doses are five times as much. And you're free to take them as, as much as you want. Then you get these fancy doctors. These fancy doctors who will come to your house 3 o'clock in the yes, morning, 5 o'clock in the morning. Want. Or take yes, a wing at your yes. house and wheel in those fancy um, machines and, and uh, you know, intravenous exactly, you yes, yes, and pop you with wake pills. You up, all of it. They okay. See that? So she agreeing that it's different level and steps and stages of the drug doses and drugs that Michael Jackson was addicted to and things like that. That had no effect on his mind and personal life and actions. You heard what she said out of her mouth, right? Now, she's saying all that. She's saying all that. Not knowing that this is proving the case of the victims and not Michael Jackson. She think that he just wrestled with drugs and that was just it. She want to believe that that was his only thing. She don't believe none of the sex, none of the other thing, but she do believe he was on drugs, and now she give up the stages of the drugs and how it can take a toll and effect on you, but not his life and his uh, 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 mind and sexual perversion. Watch this, though. He kept yeah, him doped yeah. up. That's what I believe. Okay, okay, Wendy. I, I think that there's a lot of, of reasoning to that, and I think that my... What do you think? You know, I'm still torn. I don't believe that, it. Can I tell you, I don't necessarily believe all of it, but I think that... See... You... She mad at him because he believe it. You believe it. Right. I believe it. Because at the end of the day, Michael Jackson is a man. And as a man, please explain to this... You want us to believe that this man don't use his penis? That he have no use for his penis at all? It's obvious and evident he didn't have a woman. He didn't have a wife. What is he doing with his penis? Is he off limits to satanic attack? Is he off limits to satanic oppression, obsession, possession? Is he off limits? If Michael ja have Michael Jackson become the new Jesus Christ to the point that he's perfect, to the point that he don't wrestle with uh, temptation. He don't wrestle with demons oppressing him and giving him influences in his mind. Is he above that? See, here's the thing you don't get, crazy lady. Let me tell you something. In fact, it come to him worse because he has an influence over mass millions of people in the world. So his satanic oppression, obsession, and possessions are way more graver than anybody else due to his status of popularity. So... These demons, these spirits, they prey on the children. They prey on the youth of the children. Michael Jackson have uh, 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 on record statements of everything of his involvement in the occult. In the occult. The occult. Am I pronouncing that right? The occult. You know what I'm talking about. And they teach them. That through the purity of children, of taking their virginity and things like that, it gives them a higher level and status of satanic rituals. This dude ain't doing nothing but repeating the same thing allegedly that was happening to him when he was young, introduced into the Hollywood and all cult. Just like R. Kelly and them, they repeating the same thing. Notice, y'all, everything that we heard that the Illuminati was doing to these people, notice these dudes are doing it to these children the same way that it was introduced to them. 
Wendy know about this. What she's doing is what she get paid to do to protect the family. That's what she's doing. That's what she's doing. This stuff is real life. This stuff is true. Michael Jackson penis ain't no different than any other man penis that has desires. God created us with desires. So you want us to believe that this 50 year old man wasn't using his penis? That he just so good for the world and he just this uh, Samaritan, this saint that just so.